I keep going back to the night that, that my kids were taken. I want to say taken because I know I called my friend to come pick them up. Now, prior to that, I want to say um, a month to that, prior to that incident, I don't know what had happened to where I was staying, who I was with at the time, because he kicked me and my kids out on the streets. And I remember one time being kicked out and um, it was it was cold. And he kicked me and my four kids out and my kids, you know, they are all stair-stepped and they were all eight and under. So I looked down at them and they didn't have no clothes on, no socks, no shoes. So I remember going back to the house and beating on a door and he wouldn't let me in. And it took me to um, pound on the window and it just broke really easy and I remember the police coming to me and he assisted me on my arm and he asked me if I wanted to go to the emergency room I was drunk mind you I was drunker than a dog and um, I don't know what happened anyways I woke up and I was back over there me and the kids and, and my arm of course was all bleeding and bloody so, and then, um, an incident after that, um, it was Halloween, and the person I was with at the time was the same person, um, he was drunker than a dog and decided to take them to the library before we went trick-or-treating. Well, they was walking, and I remember them walk, came back with the police, brought them back, because he started a fight with my kids present. And it was always the cops bringing them back. As long as I was with that person, it was fine. But then I don't know what happened that night. I ended up going to jail, and that's when it all started. I don't understand because there's times that I was kicked out, and they don't know, know what was going on. It was me and my kids on the streets, and he didn't care if we didn't have clothes or socks or shoes on. Mind me, I didn't, I don't care, but my kids, my babies, and they were calling him dad. And that's what's sad about the whole situation is that at the, all the times that I was drunk and I don't make it no better that the cops came and saved my kids as long as I was with that person. But if I wasn't, things were bad for me. And I didn't know how to get out of that situation, but that night, I don't know what had happened for me and my kids to be out on the streets that night. Like I said, I keep going back to the night and I'm so confused because I don't know. But I remember many other nights prior to that and stuff like that has happened and the cops knew all about that situation. So I don't know why they didn't help me before then. Even times as I've been on the phone with the um, 911 callers, they heard him say, if I left, they was going to kill me. And the cops just picked him up, took him down the road, waited about five minutes, and then they let him go. And he was able to walk back home. So I don't understand it. But I guess whatever is going on at that time, he was in with the cops. That's all I can think of. That's how crooked the cops are here in this town that we live in. And it's Tulsa, Oklahoma. Even like the hospital, if you go up there, sometimes you're drunk and sometimes you're sick. And sometimes a drunk person will know their body. And um, there's many times that they just say, don't deal with them, turn them away. I wonder how many drunks have we lost out there because we need to dehydrate it. And they turned us away. Mm. You know, if it wasn't for our natives, they wouldn't have no jobs that they're at now. And that's what's sad is the biggest of us that we have out here, their jobs are because of us natives. And if us natives didn't get sick, they wouldn't have a job, right? Let's think about that, guys. Come on now, what happened that night? I wanna know. I keep coming back, coming back blank and confused. So I don't know what the cops did or said because I know all I wanted them to do is go somewhere and be warm.